Please direct your attention to the screen as we hear from United States Senator Tammy Duckworth. Hello, Democrats. Thank you so much, President Zahorek, Governor Pritzker, and all the county chair people across our state working hard in these difficult conditions to make sure our party is as organized and as strong as we can be. And I, I'm so glad I could join you all today to honor this year's award recipients of late Barb Brown and my friend John Penn for all of their work to build grassroots efforts throughout the Democratic Party. Barb was a fierce advocate for women in politics, blazing a trail and a legacy that I am thankful for. She is greatly missed, but her hard work and sacrifice has helped shape our party and we continue that work to this day. And to John, my friend and fellow veteran, congratulations on your well-deserved award. Working families in Illinois are so lucky to have you as a champion for their rights. For your steadfast support of Democrats in Illinois, I say thank you. And thanks to the hard work of every single one of you here and those watching today. We didn't just win the last elections in Illinois, we won across the country, and we once again have a stable, effective, and empathetic leader in the White House. Because of your hard work, I'm serving as a member of the majority party for the first time in my congressional career, and we're getting things done working for our Illinois families. Beyond getting the American Rescue Plan and the COVID-19 Hate Crimes Act over the finish line, we also signed it into law. Senate Democrats just passed a generational infrastructure package that will help us, help us rebuild our state and our nation. A $1.2 trillion investment in our crumbling roads and bridges, broadband internet access, and dangerous water and wastewater treatment and so much more. I'm particularly proud that the bipartisan deal includes my all station accessibility program, the ASAP program, which would help finally bring transit across the country up to the accessibility standards promised by the ADA more than 30 years ago. And by fully authorizing my Drinking Water and Wastewater Infrastructure Act, the bipartisan deal will help us to repair our nation's infrastructure so that families in communities like Cahokia Heights don't have to live with raw sewage that overflows whenever it rains, and it will also take a huge step towards ensuring access to clean drinking water for all Americans, which as many of us know here in Illinois is a huge deal because we have more lead service lines than any other state in the country and it doesn't just stop there. On top of this infrastructure package, which has the potential to give Illinois at least $18 billion to achieve these priorities, expand broadband access to more students learning remotely, and set the groundwork for more electric vehicles in our great states, Senate Democrats also just cleared a major hurdle as we work to deliver a bold, historic budget that supports and invests in working families across the nation. A key piece of President Biden's economic plan, the Budget Reconciliation Bill would help deliver long overdue tax cuts to working families, ensure that our nation finally joins the rest of the industrialized world in providing paid family leave and support environmental justice communities, invest in critical home and community-based care services, and build back better our nation's manufacturing program and an economy that works for everyone. Every day we're proving that unlike so many in the Republican Party, Democrats at all levels understand what it means to help others, not just themselves. We're showing the American people that when Democrats win, we will roll up our sleeves and do the real work for working families and deliver on the issues that are most important to them. Not just scare or anger people over imaginary claims of voter fraud or lies about the 2020 election. Instead of proposing hundreds of new bills across the country aimed at restricting voting rights like we've seen Republicans do, Democrats are getting things done that help Americans. With so much at stake right now, from our national security being threatened by domestic terrorists to voting rights to overcoming the Delta variant of COVID, all of your hard work has been so important to getting us to this moment. But let me be clear, we're going to need that hard work again to win in 2022. To expand our majorities, re-elect Governor Pritzker and win across the board, we have to stay focused. We can't let up or take anything for granted anywhere. We've got to make the Zoom calls, we've got to talk to our community members, and we've got to do the hard work to tell voters why it's critical that they vote Democrat up and down the ballot. With just 50 Democratic votes, the Senate majority is on a knife's edge, and we need every one of you to help as I run for re-election this cycle. 
each and every one of you is doing your part. So from the bottom of my heart, I just want to say thank you and do please keep it up. We need you now as much as ever. So may God bless you all. God bless our troops in harm's way and, as, and always. God bless the United States of America. Thank you. And now let's go win in 2022.